Hello, fellow Bubble developers. Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add multiple parameters in a custom URL so that you can send information and use that information from the URL. And what I'm going to do here is do a quick demo using an earlier design on creating a blog. this right here and on here I have a name that I'm adding so these are going to be some of the parameters and then I just sent the link I've already got this created so it'll send an email and I have two versions of the link here this one is uh, just the, the click here so there's there's other information this is actually the full extension of the URL here and you can see in here a couple of different uh, parameters. It's the, the name of the blog. Then I have this parameter name, which is Nikolai, and then friend email, which is Nikolai at echolaketech.com. And then who sent is the user uh, who happens to be logged in. And it's just a made up user here. So when I click on the link here, it'll open up this page. And this is the, the blog page. In the name of the blog here uh, and then we're taking from the URL the friend's name the friend's email and then who sent so if you look up here at the top you can see that this is a blog page and the name of the blog and then the parameter name which we've captured here the friend email which we have down here as a text field and then who sent right here and this is a little bit different than passing parameters uh, from page to page. This is actually taking the information from the URL and using it on the page here. So this can be pretty powerful, right? So you could have certain uh, bits of data in here, parameter information in here. And based on that, you can have conditions within your app to do a variety of different things, have pop-ups open for instance, or show certain groups and, and so forth. So this is how you would set that up. Now let's get into the design. But first, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And if this video is of help, uh, please give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that I am creating valuable content for you all. And in the design here, again, this is based on an earlier design for creating a blog. I'll have the link for that. Uh, in the notes and I'll have a pop-up here for for the link as well so I'm just using the the email address here based on the prior uh, design I've added a friend name in here as well just to add another parameter and then the email link here it's pretty much the same as the prior design but let's just jump in so we have the send email and on the send email uh, the email address, which was from that input, I'll get to in a, in a moment. Sender name, Echo Lake Tech, uh, and then the subject, the link to the, the blog. And down here is, is really the, the magic of, of all of this. So in this first one here, and I'm just going to jump back to the email. So this first part is example hides URL in the click me here. Okay. And so what we have here is we have with brackets, and this is this is important um, to to set the the syntax up correctly. Uh, so you have the open bracket here, and then you type in URL equals, and then we have dynamic data here, the current cells blog and blog URL, and then we have to put in a question mark, and it's important. I'm just going to jump down here. You see these ampersands. It's important your first one here is a question mark and not an ampersand. And then name equals. And then the input friend names of value. And then the ampersand to add an additional uh, parameter. Friend email equals input emails address value. And then another ampersand who sent equals current user's email. And then close the bracket and then click here and that click here will show up as click here and then we have this another bracket forward slash URL and then a bracket to close it out 
Okay, let's let's break this down a little bit more. Okay, so again, we've got the the bracket. Type in URL equals, and then we have current cells blogs blog URL. Okay, and you see the the more here, right? So you don't want to type in the question mark like that. What you want to do is you want to come down to this next line here. And bubble is a little tricky with this, but you just want to make sure you get down to the next line here. And then type in question mark, name equals, and make sure you have the equals in there. And you see bubble automatically has the insert dynamic data here. And then we have, I'm just going to type in input here to get down to, uh, let's see, what is it called? Input friend's name value and again you see this more you don't want to use this more you want to come down to the next line here with your cursor and now instead of the question mark now you want to do the ampersand and then friend email equals and again get insert dynamic data and then this one is input email address right here value. Again, the more, you don't want to use that. You want to come down to the next line, another amp, amp stand, and then who sent equals, and then it is current users email. So current users, let me scroll down to the bottom here to email. Um, again, you see the, the more here. I'm going to do close bracket instead, and then click here, bracket, forward slash URL, close bracket. And that's it. That's how you set it up. Down below here, I have basically the same thing. It just doesn't have the URL set up for click here. And that's basically all there is to, to set it up. And I'm just going to jump back to the URL here because I do want to show you that it is important Let me do a refresh it is important um, on this question mark so you see the the values are entered here if I go and I put ampersand here and I hit the values go away so that's why this first this first entry here you need to have let me do a refresh mess it up question mark there we go you need to have a question mark for the first one here and then ampersand so if you had a few other uh, parameters to add just use the the ampersand now the other part of this to to extract the data on the page so the prior page here this is on the index page um, let me just, be, before I go to the blog page, the next page, I want to just make sure, so if, on here we go email, send email, and um, just again enter in the input email address, value, and so forth, and then back here is where I just walked through, going through the body of the, the email. The rest of this is just basically resetting the data. So within this group here, create blog post, I just reset the data afterwards. And to do that, it is element actions, reset data, and then the group, um, create blog post, and that's how you reset it. And then I have a, uh, a simple alert on here for when the message gets sent and for an alert. It is under element actions and then alert show message and this one is email sent like that and actually while I'm still on this page let's just go take a look at the alert so up here so this is one thing from a navigation perspective so you see there's a lot of different elements in here and I'm looking for an alert so I can just come up to this input field here and just type in alert and, and there it is and it's just a, a simple alert email sent nothing too fancy 
to add an alert, it is right here under visual elements, alert, like that. And then type in email sent. And it's as simple as that. Delete it. Okay, uh, again, I'll put in the link for the, the creating the blog and so forth so you can go and deep dive on, on how, to, how to set the rest of this all up. What I'd want to do now is for the link, it does go to the blog page. And on the blog page, I have this text field. And in, in here, let me just open this up a little bit more. So we got friend's name, friend's email, and who sent. And what we want to do here is get name from page URL. And in here, you've got different choices. And we want to set parameter because we're getting information from the parameter. The parameter name. And again, these are the parameter names here. We've got name. And we've got friend mail. And we've got who sent. So those are the three parameters we're going to be dealing with. And then it's of type text. Now, sometimes you may be sending um, actually uh, data elements. Um, so you might be, um, this one already sends blog as part of the URL, but you, I'm just gonna come over here and I've got a lot of diff different data types in here. So you might be sending event, okay? Now this is important. If you are doing that, um, when you, Come over here and if it was event so let's say this was event you want to make sure you come down here and choose event because that's the type of data that you are uh, sending in the url so just be mindful of of that in this simple example it, it's just text because it's just the name um, and similarly for friend email it's a text as well and who sent is a text. So it's just simple text information in this, this example. Now to set this up, what you want to do is insert dynamic data, okay? And then you're going to come down to the bottom, get data from page URL. Again, the default's parameter. And then, let's see, we've got, uh, what were some of the name and it's of type text the other thing to note it is very important that you spell it correctly and it's case sensitive so name here is different than name with a lowercase so if you come back over to the URL here you see that um, these are lowercase so again if it was capital uh, w for who sent, I would have to make sure, or rather you would have to make sure that uh, who sent is with a capital letter, like that. And that's uh, how you set this up. And again, I'll put the link in for how to create the, the rest of the, the blog page um, and, and so forth. Uh, in, in the link ab above as well as down below in the comments. If you um, like this video, again, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.